you know, we're now in a position where we can cap copays for insulin at $35 a month. That's still a staggering profit, three and a half times what it costs to produce the drug. You can do that with the stroke of a, we can do that with the stroke of a pen. In my Build Back Better legislation, that with Abigail's leadership passed the House of Representatives, we can do that. Now we just have to get it through the United States Senate, and we're close. We can do even more to lower out-of-pocket prescription costs. Under my proposal, we will hold drug companies accountable for the absurd price increases. Here's how. Drug companies that increase their prices faster than the rate of inflation once the price is set will face a steep tax. This will help us end the days when drug companies can increase their prices with no oversight, no accountability, and no responsibility. We're saying to drug companies, you are finally going to become accountable when you raise prices on the American people. Accountability. You're still going to make a significant profit. And we can take additional steps to lower drug costs for people with Medicare, something Abigail has championed. Right now, the only thing Medicare is not allowed to negotiate the price of are prescription drugs. For everything else covered by Medicare, a doctor's visit, they negotiate, say, we'll pay no more than this much for a doctor's visit. So if the doctors don't want to take any Medicare patients, they don't have to. But if they have a Medicare patient, which there are millions of them, they cannot charge more than a certain amount of crutches. We limit the amount of money they can pay for crutches. But, but, Medicare can negotiate everything except drug prices. The only outfit they can't do, they, they can't deal with. My plan is going to allow Medicare to negotiate the prices they're prepared to pay for each individual drug. If the company says, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sell it to you for that price, fine. But they're going to lose millions of customers. Millions of customers. We're proposing, what we're proposing is that we negotiate fair prices, one that reflects the cost of research and development and the need for significant profit, but still is affordable and has some relationship to the cost the drug company had. My plan also caps the amount that seniors on Medicare have to spend on prescription drugs each year total, so that if they're on Medicare, they'll not have to spend out of pocket more than $2,000 a year, no matter how many drugs they're taking. With drug companies, insurance companies, and medicine, and Medicare picking up the rest of the cost. 